So I thought we'd have a look at the um, integration of Microsoft OneNote with their Microsoft Link product. So OneNote is great for taking notes during uh, meetings or online sessions, but there are some of the additional integration features with Microsoft Link are, are quite useful, things like the ability to be able to share notes, for example. So let's have a look at the integration. Um, just for the sake of this demo, we have two machines set up. There is my machine here, I'm logged in. Um, and we also have another machine here, which is assigned to Derek Trotter. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the experience from both sides of the equation and you can see what it looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually set up um, my ability to take notes during my own meetings. It's very simple to do. Um, so I'm going to start a meeting. I'm going to use the meet now option, but the meeting could be created um, using your Outlook plugin or whichever way you'd like to start a meeting. I'm going to join it using the normal link audio. And there we go. We've now got our meeting set up. At the minute, I'm the only person in it. Um, I could, of course, drop other people into this meeting. So it's very simple to do. I'm going to pick up Derek and I'm going to drop him into this conference. There we go. So from Derek's perspective, if we switch to his machine, you'll see that he's getting a little pop-up saying that I want to invite him to a conference call. So I'm going to accept it. And there we go. We now have, have our two-person conference going on. So let's switch back to my machine again. And in this scenario, what I want to do is take some notes about this web conference. It's very easy for me to do. I'm going to click on the share button here and I'm going to select OneNote. Now, I want to create a note that's just for my own purposes. It's not going to be shared in the meeting. We'll touch on shared content in a few minutes. So what I'll do is I'll click on my notes and I'm going to decide where I want this note to be. I'm going to pop it into the Contoso group, which is my example company. So we'll select there, click OK. Up pops OneNote. It's giving it a title, so my meeting notes, the date and the time at the top there. Notice that it's also included, for example, the participants in the meeting. Currently, that's Derek and myself. If I was to drag somebody else into the meeting, for example, Andy here, you will see that the meeting content will be up, updated on the fly, so you will always get details as to who is attending that conference. Now, of course, I can go ahead and take, it, take my meeting notes. Um, all the features of OneNote there are there. We can drop in pictures and all kinds of things. Very, very useful um, and a great way to take notes. So let's close that down. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll move on and have a look at the way that Link handles um, shared notes within OneNote. So this time we're going to have a look at shared notes. Um, in this scenario, any note that we put into our web conference or our meeting is actually shared between all the participants of that meeting. You can also configure it so that uh, all the people in the conference can actually edit the content of that note. So let me show you what I mean. Um, so what I'm going to do is set up a meeting. I'm going to use the meet now option for my client, which is there, but um, it's exactly the same process if you're using, for example, the scheduled meeting from an Outlook uh, plugin or something like that. So let's start our, our meeting. There we go. And what I'm going to do is pop into my share, go to OneNote and select this time shared notes because I want to share the notes amongst all the members of this conference. I'm going to go into my SCC collection and my example company, which is Contoso Group. And there's our new note. And you'll see that it's already populated it with the date and the time and the participant. So obviously the only participant at the moment is me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag somebody else into this conference and we'll have a look and see what it looks like from their perspective. So I'm going to take Derek here and I'm going to drag him into our conference. You should notice, for example, now that the meeting content has updated to include Derek. So let's jump across to Derek's machine and we'll have a look and see what it looks like from his perspective. There we go. So there's our meeting invite. I'm going to accept it. You'll notice that there's notes have been added, so I'm going to click open on there. 
and there's our meeting notes. So these are actually shared now between all the participants of this conference. So if I wanted to, as Derek here, I could add some notes. Okay, so if we switch back to um, my machine, we'll have a look and see what it looks like from that side. There we go. So you can see the content that Derek has entered into this note is now viewable for everyone else in the conference. So of course I can always add content as me. And again, if we look on Derek's machine, we should now see that content also syncing across to that machine as well. So as you can see, it's a, it's a very powerful way of sharing and you know things like meeting notes or collaborating on on documents and keeping track of where you are with things. Um, yeah, it's a it's a very powerful thing, and it, it certainly helps me in my day to day work keeping track of what I'm doing with all the conferences and all the uh, online um, sessions that I seem to attend.